we had four product releases at ClickUp this April, one every Friday, and I picked out some of the biggest and most exciting features that you need to know about. So first of all is automation. This is huge. This is a game changer for productivity. You can go to any list and add an automation now. There's a whole bunch of recipes here you can choose from, such as, let's pick one here, when the due date arrives, then change the status. And then if you can't find what you're looking for, you can create your own. So here you can choose from any of our triggers, set the options, and then take an action. Next up, we have Pulse View. This is a live overview of who is online right now. On my test account, you can see it's just me, but you can see your whole team who are online or offline. You can see what the activity levels have been today, and you can also see what people have been focusing on most. Next up is the Zoom integration. When you turn the Zoom Click app on, you can then go to a task and start a Zoom call about that task. Next up, we've simplified how views are displayed at the top here. So when you only have a couple, it's much the same as normal. But if you have a lot of views and it starts to become cluttered, we've now grouped them by type. So you can see here, I have three different list views that I can jump between. My personal ones are at the top and then the general ones at the bottom. If you'd like to pull a specific view out of here, you can pin it and have it separate. We've also allowed you to hide spaces so that you don't have to have a whole bunch of spaces that you may not care about. So for any space, you can click on the three dots and hide it. Your list of hidden spaces will still be available here and you can still expand it to get to them, but for the most part, they'll be out of the way. You can now embed a list view within a document. If we type slash list, we can now insert a list of tasks. We can either search for a particular list, browse for a list, or create a new one. Here I'll put in a list of my orders. And we can adjust this view to make it suit, including hiding columns or adding them back again. Docs also now have emojis and avatars. Let's say we want to have a smiley face that will go in front of this page. If we have multiple pages, we can have a icon in front of each page. The options are emojis or avatars, which are icons that can be given colors. Next up, if you have multiple headings, then we can simply type slash TC or table of contents to get an automatic table of contents with our headings. We can click on a heading to jump straight to that part. We also now have banners to highlight certain elements. So for example, we can type slash banner to see all of them or go to an individual one such as success. We'll now get a green banner that we can type into. Within list view, if you want to sort by multiple columns, as I have here, currently I'm sorting first by due date and then second by priority. You can now switch the order of these. If I click on the heading now, we can see that these are in order and I can simply switch them. I can also reverse how each one is sorting. Lastly, if you are an enterprise team, you now have advanced permissions, allowing you to set exactly what guests, members, and admins are able to do within ClickUp. All right, that's it for this month, but as always, there's far more releases that I wasn't able to cover here. If you'd like to see them, you can look at our release notes and look forward to May. It's going to be a good one.